Hi, my name is Heather Linksweiler, and I work with OPN Architects out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And what project will you be discussing today? Today I will be talking about the Moline Public Library in Moline, oh. Illinois. And what was your role in the project? I am part of the, the architectural design team. And what was the criteria for the building? We had a new construction library um, that was 72,000 square feet that the Moline uh, District was looking to construct. Heather, what was unique about this project? Unique? Well, um, we wanted to be able to use traditional building materials in a different way for this project. We felt it's very important that the library, though it's a very traditional building type, really showed how the user group is looking for something more contemporary and it is something that will uh, last into the future. And so what we wanted to do was take these traditional building materials, brick, stone, and copper, and use them in a contemporary way. We were able to then um, take the copper and we, we used it instead of what you traditionally use for the roof and architectural detail, we wanted to use it as a building form. But with that comes its own challenges. Once you start bringing copper into a, a pedestrian level building material, you really need to be sensitive about the fact that copper is a softer material. Without having the copper being a very heavy gauge and start to show wear and tear, um, we wouldn't be able to do it except if we use the composite copper. And that really helped us out in achieving what we wanted architecturally, yet giving the um, owners a building that is going to last a long time. Great. And how do you feel about the overall project? We absolutely love the effect that we were able to achieve. Uh, we had the opportunity to use the pre-patinaed copper and natural copper and to be able to watch them age throughout the seasons and throughout the weather and really showing the full gamut of the color is very exciting to have a living material like that on the building. One last question. How did the shingle effect meet your expectations? The shingle effect was great. We were able to break down the scale of the material as pedestrians walk by. They won't, they don't feel um, the pieces are overly large for the scale. And we'll go ahead and introduce yourself again. My name is Craig Chelmlin. I'm president of Metal Design Systems in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And what project will you be talking about today, Craig? Moline Public Library in Moline, Illinois. And what did your company do to take part in that? Uh, we fabricated a uh, custom uh, copper composite system uh, using the Alpolic copper composite as well as aluminum composite materials. And how is the aging process discovered in this project? Uh, the aging process was a post patina process that we developed ourselves, which allowed us to give a very unique finish that is uniquely ours that addressed the desires and needs of the architect. And will it continue to age? It will continue to age. In fact, um, on the project we have both uh, post patina in-house as well as bare copper and both are going to be aging uniquely. Great. What is unique about the system on this job? This system has the look of a heavy plate copper shingle, but we were able to achieve this at a fraction of the cost by using the Alpolic technology that allows us to use something that is hand fabricated and reduces the production and fabrication time dramatically. Would you like positives or negatives with this system? Well, the real positive with the system is the, the reality that we do gain a look that is very substantial and very attractive and innovative and stylish at a fraction of the cost because of the copper composite technology. And are you happy with the outcome of this project? We are extremely happy with the outcome of the project. We're very proud of the project and we believe that because of its innovation and style, it's going to remain a real landmark for years to come.